Hi, you're in the Yellow Jackets. This is Chef Robinson here in Culinary Arts. Today we're going to be preparing for you a holiday dip that's so easy, you can make it at home, and just by doing a couple little tweaks, you can make it look beautiful. Starting out, check with your teacher, or you can go on YouTube and you're going to have this whole recipe. You can print it out online. But for today, I'm going to show you how it's done. You can see it takes nothing but minutes to put it together. Starting out with my ingredients, we're going to go with cream cheese, cinnamon, vanilla, orange zest, that's just the color part of the orange. Brown sugar, chopped nuts. Choose whatever one you want, and if you have some kind of a nut allergy, please do not do it with the, uh, any kind of a nut. And lastly, we're doing pumpkin pie mix. There's gonna be a real important difference when you're shopping. This is Libby's pumpkin pie mix. This is Libby's pure pumpkin. You want to get pumpkin pie mix. There's a reason for that. This is just pureed pumpkin. It's savory, it doesn't have any sweetness to it. And let's face it, every kid in the school loves sugar. This also has nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, and some other ingredients that make it taste like pumpkin pie. You could do the same exact dip by using pureed pumpkin, but you're gonna have to have a bunch more ingredients at home. Here we go, so now let's get started. First, I'm gonna take all of my ingredients that are on that list, with the exception of my chopped pecans, that's what the kind of nut I'm using today, put it in my mixer, and blend it until it's smooth. And we're going to begin to mix it, until this portion of the cream cheese gets smooth. It's nice and soft. Now with it on low, I'm going to begin to add my pumpkin. Now that we have this viscosity, in other words, this thickness, now we're going to start to fold in our nuts. So here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let it set up. In other words, let it get a little bit harder. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how to do some garnishing, what we're going to serve with this, and a nice little plate design. So welcome back. Now that we're waiting for our pumpkin dip to set up, I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can use, instead of potato chips and things like that, as a dipping device or as a way to transfer that dip into your face. One, you have a couple of options when you go to the store. You can get things like bagel chips, pita chips, but I got to tell you, I went even to Walmart and this bag is $3.89. They're, they are good, they're delicious, but I paid almost $4 for this bag, and it weighs about eight ounces. When I went over to the bag bakery, I got, and I ate one, six bagels that weighs over a pound, and it was only $1.89. So I'm saving $2 by just putting in a little bit of work. So just slice down, and then slightly turn and slice it down again. Almost as if you were cutting a pizza. If I turn my knife and aim for that center line, I get that wedge. Come down a little bit more, I get that wedge. Come down a little bit more, so on and so forth. All right, we're back. So what I've done is taken my bagel chips out of the oven. You can see, they're just a little bit toasty, they're crispy, and they're still chewy on the inside. I did my best to make sure that all the apples were the same thickness. That way, every time you take a bite, it always tastes the same. This is what's called an acorn squash. The cool thing about these things are they last for like six months, they damn near never die, but 
if you were to cut the top like I have off of this one, inside it's just like a pumpkin. So all I did was cut the top off, take a spoon, scrape out the inside, and now I have a bowl. If you take an orange and cut what's called a wheel, or for my culinary students, a rondelle, we get our little orange wheels. Now if you take your knife and go from the center to one side, you can get cute little twists. So we can put those around the edge of the plate. And with what's left of that orange, if you squeeze it over your apples, it'll prevent them from going brown. Because a lot of times during Thanksgiving, you get up, you eat a little bit, you sit back down, you get back up and eat a little bit. You don't want your apples to go brown, so if you add an acid like orange, lemon, grapefruit, any kind of citrus, it will prevent them from browning. So if we squeeze just a little bit of juice over the top, not only do we have a cool looking garnish, but it's also serving a double purpose and it will prevent everything from going brown. And lastly, just for a little icing on the cake, a little bit of cinnamon on top. Maybe even on my apples. And that's the dish. This is the pumpkin cheesecake spread. Served for the holidays, great for Thanksgiving, great for any day. If anyone likes French toast, take two pieces of bread, spread that in the center, you'll have stuffed French toast the next morning. This is Chef Robinson signing off from Culinary Arts.